Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to be back with you again to share with you a message here from my home and my study right here where I live in my apartment and I thank God for these 10 minute messages that go out over the air and I hope and pray that you'll bless and be blessed by them. I'm going to speak to you on the subject of the fact that we need not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Fear is something that is easily contacted and it's contagious. It can spread. You know we need to recognize the danger of fear. And we need to see that there is in the Bible ways that teach us to overcome fear. We need not be afraid. There's a lot of things that we could be afraid of if it were not for God. We could be living in a world where there's turmoil all around us. Where there's terrorists and there's death and there's sorrow. And there's a lot of things that can happen. People are dying on the highways and people getting killed and getting sick and facing terminal diseases and all kinds of things are happening in the world to make us fearful. We could be fearful of our children, our families. We could be fearful of our own lives. But the Bible says, fear not. If you believe in God, do not be afraid. Over in the book of uh, Isaiah, the 12th chapter, verse 2, it says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. Behold, God is my salvation. He saved me. He is my God. I'm His child. And I belong to Him through Jesus Christ. And therefore, I shall not be afraid. I'm in Him and He's in me. The Spirit of God dwells in us, Christians. He dwells in you. That means God Himself is inside of you. And that when He's in you, you don't need to be afraid. The Bible says, For the Lord God is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord God is my strength and He's my song. And I need, near, uh, need to learn to sing and to praise God and to be bold and not be afraid. Because God is my courage, and He's my strength, and my song, and He's become my salvation, and He's your salvation, and God loves you very much. He has redeemed you. Number one, you're born again. You're saved by the grace of God, and you're not going to be judged by the, all the laws of God. Because Jesus went to the cross and paid for all your sins, and He died for us that we could live. And he rose again and he's coming back. And therefore we need not be afraid but trust God and know that all is well. Over in the book of Romans in the 12th, 8th, 8th chapter of Romans, it teaches us that we have, uh, we have, therefore, now there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk after the flesh and not after the spirit law allow after the, the flesh or the self. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ has set me free from the law of sin and death. So you see that when you became a Christian dear Christian friend my brother or my sister when you became a Christian then the fact that there was a change in your life took place and you were set free from the law. That means you're not going to be judged by that law anymore. Oh, the Ten Commandments are beautiful and right, but they're bold and strong and harsh like a hammer. And though they be holy and right, they can crush us. But fact is, we're not going to be judged by the law. We're going to be set, we have been set free from the law by the law of life in Christ Jesus. So believe in Jesus Christ, and you're saved by grace. And you're not under the law anymore, but you're under grace. And therefore your fear of death and your fear of facing God is gone forever. You're born again and you believe in Him. And the day comes when He comes back, He's going to give you grace to face Him. And you won't be afraid. You'll be bold to stand up and declare your truth. That all is well and God is with you. You won't be afraid. Be not afraid. Do not be afraid. I may be talking to someone right now that's facing some dark, dark experience in your life. And you're facing a circumstance that holds nothing good, but it seems to be so heavy and harsh. And you're going through such darkness right now. 
and you don't know hardly the way out, let me tell you, trust the Lord and don't be afraid. If you belong to God, then you're safe. Out there on the lake of Galilee, Jesus was walking to them on the water, and they saw him coming to them, and they cried out in fear. And Jesus said, Don't be afraid. It's me. Fear not. And he's saying that to you tonight, dear friend. I'm right there in that problem with you. It's me. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of me. I'm in that problem with you. I am the reason for your problem. I'm in the middle of it with you. I've allowed it to come for a purpose and a reason. Hold on. Look up. Look to me. Be strong. And don't be afraid. Praise God. We can say the Lord is my strength and my song. Because I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed. Redeemed. He redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed. 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 As His child in forever I am. Oh, I'm so glad that in His infinite mercy, His child and for that law I delight. He gives, oh, he, he guards my footsteps, and He gives me songs in the night. Redeemed, oh, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, 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 his child and forever I am. So whatever you're facing tonight, dear friend, let me say to you, God's facing it with you. It's not too big for him, and it's not too big for you. Remember this, that you were made in the image of God, and God is no weakling. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And you go on. You do that by denying self and submitting to God and letting the Lord direct your path and know that He loves you. And whatever you're facing, He'll give you strength and boldness to face it and know that the hour is now that you're going to come through and you'll overcome by the grace of God and you'll be bigger than the problem and you'll go through it with a song. God help you. Fear not. Be not afraid. Trust the Lord all the way, and God will be your strength, and He will be your song. He will help you find a way. He will teach you truth in all that you do, and God will be there to help you through it. God bless you. He loves you. I love you, and I'm praying for you. If you're not a Christian, then you need to pray and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again, and I'm asking you to come in my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Pray that prayer, and you know that fear will go, and Christ will give you courage to come, and you will be over, over off. You will be able to overcome and keep on going because God is your strength. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.